is my third autocross of the year, and I'm still trying to find ways to improve my times and maximize my grip. I'm still having trouble catching some stock cars like Miatas and Golfs and BRZs, but they're all running stickier tires than me. But I want to see if I can close the gap with other adjustments before I change my tires. Last time I played with my tire pressures, and this time I wanted to play with my wheel alignment. These are the changes I made to my alignment, keeping in mind that this is a street car, not really a track car, so I have to stay kind of modest with my settings. But I started off with negative 0.7 degrees camber, and I bumped that up to negative 1 degrees. I increased my caster from positive 3 degrees to positive 4 degrees, and that helps with several things such as high speed stability, uh, the steering wheel returning to center after a turn, and increasing negative camber during turns. And my initial toe was zero, but now it's slightly in to give a little more stability. On the rear, I bumped up the camber from negative 0.5 to negative 0.75, and the toe remained the same with a little bit in. I took the car for one run to warm up the tires and learn the track a little bit. So let's take a look at my second run, where I'm actually starting to push it. Time. So I know my changes sounded pretty small, and I didn't really expect them to stand out that much, but this car has so much more grip now. In the slalom, I definitely could have gone faster, that's always been a struggle point, and the car was just glued down there, so I can definitely gain some time there. And then it wasn't really pushing either, it used to have a lot of understeer, and now the car actually wants to turn in. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but in the very last turn, I cannot hook up to get across the finish line. I'm just spinning one wheel because my car doesn't have an LSD. But besides that, I'm really impressed with how the car is handling. Let's take a look at the last run and compare it to the rest of the cars and see if I've gained any time on them. So has my new alignment helped me catch any of the cars from last race? The Corvette was still 9% faster than me, so no gains here. But I did close the gap by 2% on one of the Miatas. I also gained 2% on an S2000 that's in a similar extreme street category, and 5% on a stock BMW 240xi, and 2% again for a turbo MR2 that's in the same extreme street class as me. So I am catching up to stock and modified cars, which is great news. The car definitely has a lot more grip than when I started, and it's feeling a lot sharper. So it's great to see the times falling. I still have about a 10% gap to make up though. Luckily at this race, one of my friends offered to lend me his scales so I can corner balance the car. And when I put the car on the scales, it was wildly unbalanced. So I am extremely excited to share that video with you next. Let's see if we can close the gap even more next time. Thanks for watching.